This was pretty intense. Just a few weeks earlier, Lytton was destroyed by a wildfire. Roughly 1,500 people in the area were evacuated, and although we never did end up driving down through Lytton, apparently 90% of the town had been destroyed. Unbelievable that the entire town was gone so fast. And as you can tell in this video, the entire area was still smoky. Alright, so our first stop before we hit Ashcroft, BC is Martell. This place is absolutely amazing for fishing. There's always people fishing here. It's right on the Thompson River here, and they have a little bit of this fishing little pool here, which makes it great for fish to just stop and rest, and uh, you can catch fish here all day long. So, a uh, great stop to hit if you're going to Ashcroft, BC. And yeah, let's start this video up. This is 24 hours in Ashcroft, BC. Alright, so our first stop in Ashcroft, BC is the Ashcroft Heritage Park, Millennium Park. Uh, this place is absolutely insane. So much history, so much things to do, and uh, honestly, it's a must stop if you're visiting Ashcroft, BC. Okay, so before arriving in Ashcroft, BC, I wasn't particularly sure we would have a good time. But I have to admit, we found a lot of fun things to do and hidden gems throughout the town. Our first unexpected stop while in Ashcroft was Ashcroft's Heritage Place Park or Millennium Park. We sort of stumbled across it while driving through town and it's definitely a place you're going to want to visit. Oh my god that guy freaked me out. I thought he was real. <laughs> It's really peaceful and I sort of get the feeling it's a park the entire town has contributed to. Something that I also really loved about this park is it had a lot of historic pictures and stories to look at throughout the entire park. Alright, so I know trucks today are huge and way bigger than this, but you know what, this is still pretty neat to see. So right beside Heritage Place Park, you'll come across this mining truck. Ashcroft has a long history of mining and this truck was taken from a local mine and now on display for the entire town. Just a sweet place to drop by and get some pictures with this mining truck that was retired in the 70s. Alright, so this is going to be our home for the night here in Ashcroft. You won't find this online. This is not a hotel or anything like that. But it's for us, it's a free place to stay. No furniture, we'll have to make it a little more roomy, but uh, for the price, you can't complain. We're gonna end day one there. There's downtown Ashcraft right there. We're gonna end day one there, and you know what? Once we got here, we just kind of relaxed, got the bed out, blow up mattress, and yeah, we're just gonna take it easy. Big day for tomorrow. Got lots of stuff planned. So yeah, good night. See you in the morning. All right, so we're on day two in Ashcroft, BC. And you know what? The weather's starting to turn on us. It's still super smoky out. Uh, yeah, can't even really see downtown Ashcroft from here. Uh, it's starting to rain, which is good news though. And um, yeah, we had a lot of things planned for today. I think we're gonna have to cut a few things out. Uh, we were actually even thinking about staying another night and we were having a lot of fun, but uh, yeah, we might have to cut this a little short, but let's find out what happens. So the next morning we stopped by Desert Hill Ranch. It's highly recommended online, wherever you're looking for things to do in Ashcroft. So we decided to check it out. I wasn't exactly sure what they did here, but now it's essentially a seven day a week farmer's market, petting zoo, and greenhouse. They produce a lot of their own vegetables in the fields nearby. Super good prices and a fun stop for anyone. We spent quite a bit of time just checking out the animals. These guys right here are so calm. Uh, sorry, the reflection's kind of, kind of bad, but so chill. 
There's a kid's play area and picnic area, but our favorite was definitely the petting zoo. Oh yeah, these, this ice cream is top notch. I think it's like probably made around here. Uh, yeah, so creamy, so good. Um, honestly, not too sweet, well made. Oh. And yeah, this is definitely a must stop if you're in Ashcroft, BC. All right, so we're outside the museum and it's not open. Super highly recommended everywhere I read about it online, but uh, we'll have to see it another day, it looks like. Now, the Ashcroft Museum was something I really wanted to check out. All the reviews online sounded amazing, and just from spending our short amount of time in Ashcroft, you know this town has a lot of cool old stories, pictures, and artifacts. All right, Russ, we're doing a little bit of a walking tour. You can find these around the city. They're pretty neat because this town's got a ton of old buildings here. This is built in 1889. They sold concerts, silent movies here. 1929, they turned into a movie theater and now it's privately owned and uh, tried getting in, but it's locked. <laughs> It'd have been cool to see the inside of it, but uh, pretty neat buildings around here. I think one of the neatest things about Ashcroft, BC is downtown feels like it hasn't changed since the town was founded. There are so many historic buildings throughout Ashcroft. Here we have what was originally built in 1898 and occupied by the BC Mining Journal. To this day it's still occupied by the Ashcroft Cash Creek Journal. This house here was built in 1895. Here's a picture of it back in the day. This house was originally home to custom agents. Here we have the Grand Central Hotel. Originally built in 1895 and home to a saloon, gaming room, restaurant, and two dozen rooms upstairs. The original building burnt down in 1916 and rebuilt to what you see here in 1920. I highly recommend taking the historic walking tour around Ashcroft. Literally almost every building has a plaque attached to it telling you a little bit about the history of that particular building a company with photographs. Also while you're out exploring Ashcroft be sure to check out all the museums spread around town. All of them are very unique, one of a kind and most of them seem to be connected in one way or the other to the town. I would estimate that there's probably two dozen of them currently throughout Ashcroft for you to find. All right, so that's our 24 hours in Ashcroft, BC. You know what, we had a lot more planned, but uh, you can spend actually quite a bit of time here. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I'm definitely coming back. And this place is absolutely gorgeous. If it wasn't for the smoke and the smog, amazing place. Thanks for watching, like the video until later. I'll see you later.